My name's Sarah Harper and I'm a mosaic artist running Honey Mosaics. Now for those of you that don't know what a mosaic is, it's a picture uh, made up of lots of tiny tiles and typically they are glass and stone and ceramic. A real mix of um, creativity and texture, colour. So I'm going to teach you today how um, you can learn about making and designing a mosaic. So I'm just going to show you the types of things that you're going to get to make. Now this is a drawn mosaic bee. It's very straightforward and you won't need a lot of resource for this. Just the template and some pencils, some colour of your choice. And then we move on to um, doing some collage mosaics where we're going to be cutting using the coloured card um, but also we'll be um, looking at the option of found materials from home. I have made a template for you to download and print um, for the month of July while the big makes on. So all you're going to need is your template, your paper, the pencil and the colouring um, pencils that you're going to use or you might want to use paint. Um, so I'm just using a yellow, a black and a grey. So we're going to start by looking at how to draw a mosaic. So you've downloaded your bee template or you've drawn your own bee, um, whichever you prefer. So this is my mosaic drawn bee. So I've started off with the template. This is how it looks. And what we're going to start by doing is in filling some shapes. So the first thing would be to put your eyes in. Now, on my bee, I've drawn the eyes circular, but you don't have to do that. They could be oval, or they could be any shape you want. Now, I found myself a five pence piece. That's gonna help me when drawing the eyes. So I'm just gonna position one, hold the penny in place, and just draw around the edge. So I'm just going to start by drawing myself some shapes. And I'll start in the corner edge, and I'll start with some triangles. And then I might put a few a regular shapes in. You, they can have nice soft edges. They can be quite sharp. And you can draw bigger pieces. I'm just gonna make your task, I suppose, a bit faster. Or if you want more detail, then you can um, put smaller pieces in. So if you're making a real mosaic, these are the types of decisions that you would be making. You have to use smaller pieces or slightly larger. Again, using more small mosaics, they'll give you that um, more of a detailed look. But again, it's gonna take you a bit more time. And when you're doing this, take your time and remember, there's no right or wrong. So just lots of little shapes. So I've just infilled the, the head there. And then what I'll do is I'll continue to infill all the sections. Now I'm drawing my bee with a crazy paving style mosaic design, which means that all the pieces are irregular. Now this is quite a fun way to mosaic and I think it looks quite effective on the bee. So again, you can copy my bee design and do the same. And then I can add some color. Um, so I'm just using a yellow, a black and a gray. It will look quite different as you start to add the color. So you could pick uh, like a rainbow theme and or you could um, just use one color for the whole of the body if you want. So there's no right or wrong. So if you've completed your drawn mosaic, now you might like to move on to the next challenge, which is to have a go at a mosaic collage. So what you're gonna need is your um, printed template. And if you want to um, either print that straight onto card, you can, or you might want to print it on uh, the paper, cut it out, and then you can draw around it to um, create the image on a different colored piece of paper. You can see this one has been made um, from a variety of card. 
I've used some black card, yellow card, some white paper, and then I've used some nice shiny and metallic silver paper to create the wings. So I've got my card and I've already pre-cut it. So you can see I've just been cutting lots of little shapes. There's no pattern to these, so it's quite simple. I'll just show you. So I've just got the corner of the paper or the card and snip. And you can make these pieces as small or as big as you want. So I've done that in the same way for all my different colours. I just want to show you, if you want to cut some rectangular tiles or you want to make some squares, that's quite um, simple. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my piece of black card along the edge. Make a nice thin strip. And then I'm going to cut that with my scissors. Um, so yeah, now I've got my strip, I could either just snip small rectangles if that's what I want. And if I want to make sure they're all the same size, I'm just going to turn my strip over and then I'm going to turn it again. So I can just carry on doing that. See, I've got my spring there. And then I can just cut along those lines and then all my pieces are going to be the same size. I'm going to carry on doing that till I've got enough pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly onto my um, template. Put my eyes in place. I'm going to get my glue. And I'm going to just get a brush. And I'm going to apply a little bit of glue. Back of the eye. Pop it down. And then I'm going to continue. I'm going to have a look at that size. These are all the sorts of questions that you might have when you're making your own piece. And there's no right or wrong, it's just preference. I think they're slightly too big, so what I'm going to do is just cut them in half again. So I'm going to carry on cutting and sticking. I'm just gluing and sticking and you can either stick directly onto your card or paper or you can paint the glue straight onto the image but it doesn't really matter because the glue is going to dry clear so don't worry about that that you can see it now so I'm going to carry on cutting and sticking so now perhaps you want to pause the video and maybe go and have a hunt um, if you're at home for some different materials to use or perhaps see what's um, ready to go in the recycling box as well. Here's another mosaic, um, paper mosaic I've made. And this is made from all found materials. So you can see my baseboard has just come from a cereal pack. And I've just used an old magazine. It's got some nice floral images in. So I've used that to create the main body. And then I've decided to use a contrast and cut out some of the printed um, text to create the face. And where I've got some block color in the magazine, I've just cut out two little round pieces for the eyes. And then I've used some tin foil to create the wings. If you enjoyed creating the bee mosaic and you want to try something else, why not have a go with a butterfly? And I've done this just in the same way as I did the bee. So I've just used templates to create my circles and I found um, a lid of a little jar and I used some coins and then I've cut myself some triangles and squares. And I've just done a very simple yet quite effective design. You might want to have a go at taking your bee image and putting it into a picture, a mosaic picture design. So I've used a combination of techniques here. I've mainly coloured in my image, but I've used a bit of collage as well. And I've just used one 
template I cut out for one of my petals and I've just moved that round as I've drawn around the sunflower. If you're enjoying learning about mosaics and you want to try a few things at home, I'll just show you a couple of my mosaic kits. This is a new butterfly that I've just created. If you have a look on my Facebook page, Honey Mosaics, and you can see a lot of the kits I put together. So don't forget to hashtag the big mate with anything that you do create and I hope that I've inspired you. So no matter what you're making, just get busy being creative at home and at school. Thank you very much for tuning in.